it is the equation of straight line. This type of equation is called Cartesian equation. X minus X1 upon A1 equals to equals to Y minus Y1 upon B1 equals to Z minus Z1 upon C1. So X1, Y1 and Z1 are the coordinates through which the line is passing. So if you are expressing any equation in form of coordinates along with the direction ratios, here also we use direction ratios A1, B1 and C1 are direction ratios of given line. So a equation in which we use coordinates and direction ratios, that equation is called as a Cartesian equation. So the point through which the line is passing, having the coordinates x1, comma y1, comma z1. While finding out the coordinates of the point through which the line is passing, be sure here is a minus, here is a minus, here is a minus. So in given question, here is a minus, here is also, here also. So the coordinates of the point through which the line is passing are 4, comma 2, comma 1. And direction ratios of the line, a1 equals to 5. You see, this is 5 and b1 equals to 3, this is 3 and c1 equals to 4. So whenever you want to convert Cartesian form to vector form, first of all, write down point through which the line is passing and also write down the direction ratios. So given line is passing through the point A, let us call point A 4, 2, 1 and let us call B be the parallel vector and consider any point P on the line with position vector r. Equation of the line is given by vector r equals to vector a plus lambda multiplied by vector b, where vector a equals to position vector of point a that is 4i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap and vector b is a parallel vector. So vector b can be obtained with the help of direction ratios. So vector b equals to 5i plus 3j plus 4k. Now putting vector a and vector b in this equation of straight line. Required equation of straight line vector r equals to vector a that is 4i plus 2j plus k plus lambda multiplied by vector b that is 5i plus 3j plus 4k. So in this way, Cartesian equation can be converted into vector equation.